Everyone at Somerville High knows that when it comes to extracurricular activities, sports are the highlight of the school. With our popular sports, football, basketball, or even soccer, we have many supporters to cheer our teams to victory. What most people don't know is the hard work and dedication our boys volleyball puts into their games. And frankly, they've been doing a great job. The boys have been practicing non-stop every day with their eyes on the prize to bring more pride to the Highlander name, but not without a little fun. We started boys volleyball um, six years ago as a club sport. We did three years as a club and then have been varsity the last three years. Uh, I started playing when I was in high school, my junior year, I played varsity. Uh, for two years, we won the New York State Championship in 2000, 2000, and then I went on to play four years at Springfield College as a middle blocker where we won two national championships there, and then I've been coaching in Buffalo, New York as well as here for the past four years. With the seniors of class of 2012 gone, the boys have big shoes to fill. Last year, the team made it to states. And now with new players, a new season, and new games, the team has to work hard to live up to the last year's team's legacy. I feel that our team is a great team this year. I think the, the guys get along really well, and it helps that most of them played on this team last year, so they know my expectations, they know what our program is hoping to do each year, and they're really trying to get better you know, each day that they come in here, which I think is a huge testament to their willingness to you know, work hard and put in the effort. Compared to our last year's team, I feel like this year we're a lot closer, we talk more on the court, um, we're better passers, and we also just have more fun on the court, so I guess you can say this year our team's a lot closer. I think, in general, the sport's really fun, and I also like how there's a team failing compared to when I run track and cross country, I don't really feel that, but um, in volleyball I feel as if I'm actually really connecting with my other teammates. As we were able to keep a lot of our players from last year as sophomores and juniors to come back this year. So the transition was easy. Um, you know, we'll always miss you know, the seniors each year they graduate, but it's nice to always have players that are, are ready to go and fill in those empty spots. You can see the individual skills, like everybody's like, skills has like changed like for the better, improved. And like from last year, if we had the tape, you guys could see it and then there's like, um, uh, like you can see the improve that everybody had on passing, Heating and blocking. When practices turn into games, their momentum on the court sparks the interest of their fellow students. But clearly, their hard work isn't noticed by most students, unlike other sports in demand. I think it's just one of those sports right now in the spring. I mean, you'll notice that there's not too many people who hang around after school. Um, you know, during the winter, there's nothing else to do but go to basketball games. But in the spring, everybody kind of has their own thing going on. I like boys volleyball. I'm not a huge volleyball fan. I'm here to like support all my friends on the team and they're really good so I'm happy being here no matter what. I think it's an amazing sport and because you're Brazilian. <laughs> I mean why not? <laughs> I think the more the merrier. We have you know the, the, the uh, benches pulled out. We've had over a hundred come. We've had you know less than a dozen so really I don't know if it depends on the opponent or what but you know the more the merrier the louder we get the better our players play so I invite everybody to come on down. In their home game versus Randolph, the boys gave it their all and finally qualified for states. You know, I actually, this is my first year with the team, so I actually don't know the caliber of all the other teams. Um, I think if we keep developing like we have been all season, then anything's possible. Because the team is dedicated in their goal of winning states, the team not only manages to have fun playing the game they love, but they also put their full potential into practices as they work towards states. Uh, I think we are going to the playoffs, that's right. Uh, we're 9-5 on the year, so we're qualified. We made it last year for the first time ever, so this will be two years in a row. And basically, once we find out who we play, we game plan for them, and as long as we keep winning, we'll see how far we go. Unfortunately, on May 24th, the boys lost their state's game versus Chelmsford, but the boys still continue to be faithful to the sport, the team, and the Highlander name.